Hi, uh, I've spent the last couple of weeks listening to about 20 or so debates uh, between atheists and re religious thinkers. Um, by the way, made available by Philip Porvaznik, um, and thank you very much for making all those uh, debates available on your website. Uh, on those debates, the issue of morality always um, appears at some, at some point. Uh, it doesn't matter if the main point of the debate is <clears throat> the existence of God or the existence of a, a Christian God in particular, or the ori origin of the universe, or a debate between um, creation versus evolution. The, the question of human morality is very important and is always discussed. And there's always, obviously, a great divide uh, between the, the different debaters um, regarding what um, the origin of human morality is. Uh, the Darwinist uh, position, um, invariably, is that um, the moral codes of human groups are tied to their uh, group evolutionary experience. In other words, morality is nothing but a tool of the group or a tool of the gene um, as a way of survival and a way of propagating and defending itself. On the religious side, um, obviously a God-revealed morality or at least a God-inspired morality is the norm, even though some more progressive or liberal um, Christian thinkers like Danish de Souza seem to accept, they don't seem to accept, they do accept that there, there can be an, an element of um, interaction be, between uh, evolution and um, God-inspired uh, morality. The thing is, uh, none of the debaters have raised uh, or discussed one, one big question that I had beforehand um, and uh, a question I was looking for an answer to. Um, while listening to these debates. Um, and it's quite incredible that some of the great thinkers, so Christian thinkers that participated in in those debates, like William Craig and Dinesh de Souza, did not raise this issue when um, uh, arguing, arguing or debating um, people who defend um, ev evolutionary morality only. So hopefully some some of you out there will will think about this and reply to it to it here. The question is this: in in view of the fact that the universe as we know it will cease to exist at some point in the future, can Darwinists still believe uh, that uh, one there is a point to our existence and two? Uh, can they still defend that um, there is a point in having a set of moral laws or, or is morality uh, just completely pointless from a, a naturalistic point of view uh, in view of the, the latest theories on the end of the universe? In other words, considering that all um, uh, accept the, the theories, uh, defend that at some point in the future, not only human life, but all life will be unsupportable. And if, if human morality is just a tool to, um, of support to that um, human life, um, is it fair? Is it a fair logical derivation of this idea that if the survival at, um, and the propagation of the group are guaranteed to be impossible at some point in the future, then surely there is no point whatsoever in sticking to this tool, uh, this morality. And yet, in simpler terms, um, by the rule of inference, if the premise morality is a tool of survival is true, and if the premise all survival will be impossible uh, from one point in the future, is it not fair to accept the conclusion morality is therefore uh, an utterly useless tool and human life has no meaning uh, since you won't have continuity? Now, if the, if the notions of right and wrong, of fairness, uh, solidarity and goodness are just ways um, for the advancement of the human race or for the advancement of the, the various um, human groups, are these notions and ideas not completely outdated and without point in view of 
um, all the scientific uh, theories of today, some of whom, uh, some of which predict the end of matter and time altogether, and the reversal to a pre uh, Big Bang situation, and, and others predict um, environments that could not possibly accommodate any form form of life, regardless of any advancements in technology uh, achieved uh, by the species by then. It would be acceptable to hope that um, technological advancement could permit human adaptability to a very low energy uh, situation, but not to an universe without any energy whatsoever, and certainly not adaptabi adaptability to nothingness. Of course, if you already do not believe that there is a point for our existence as humans, regardless of the end of the universe or not, this question will not trouble you. Uh, but on the other hand, if you are um, an atheist, Darwinist, but believe that our morality developed or acquired, uh, universal or, or local, is, um, is necessary. And if you believe that even without the supernatural and the transcendental days value to our existence. Uh, this question is um, of the, this question of the unavoidable physical and and um, end to our universe must at least intrigue you. So thanks for listening and thanks for your comments. Uh, this is uh, actually a serious debate. I want to start here, so I won't um, allow any spam or any trolls. Thank you very much.